Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a very easy and simple one for you guys. So as you know, um, I like to make spice blends or seasoning blends. And my nephew challenged me to make a lemon pepper seasoning. And I had to let him know that I am absolutely up to the challenge okay so i thought i would share my process of you know how i go about creating a spice blend or seasoning blend it's really fun for me i like to play around with flavor so for this um you're going to need some whole black pepper i've got some garlic powder some onion powder here um, i have a bunch of lemon balm um, our lemon balms plants aren't as big as they normally are because we're at the beginning of the season. So I just got, I didn't want to pick too much because I want to give it time to grow, but I needed some pieces. So we have a lot of uh, lemon balm plants. So I went around to each one and just took a few. Um, so I have lemon balm here. I have a little bit of sage because I want that kind of savory sort of, um, if you wonder why I'm feeling it, I'm trying to make sure that it's completely dry. Um, so we have some sage there because it gives like a smoky sort of um, earthy herbaceous flavor. And then we have thyme here. We have a variegated thyme and then we have a lemon thyme here as well. So to give it a nice flavor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started. I got to get a bowl and I'm going to get started with... The garlic powder and onion powder first make sure whatever you're using whether it be your food processor or your bowls you want it to be completely dry everything has to be completely dry otherwise if there's any moisture and it gets into your seasoning um, it's ruined because it's not going to last very i mean well actually it's not if you put it in the refrigerator and keep it there you'll still be able to use it but that bacteria grows you know because it's kind of wet and that sort of thing so you want everything to be completely dry right um including your hands as well <laughs> um so first up, i'm going to pour in my onion powder and garlic so powder. when i'm thinking of a flavor profile for my seasonings or spice blends, um, I always try to figure out what's going to be um, the staple uh, ingredients of it or the foundation of my blend. In this case, the foundational elements are the garlic powder and the onion powder because that's what's going to carry, that's like the carrier. And it's gonna give that background taste of, you know, what we all love, well, some of us, garlic and onions, you know, um, and, Next up, I'm going to blend up some black peppercorns. So I crushed some of it up oops, in the food processor. And now I'm breaking it down even further in the mortar and pestle. So it's not too hard. You just got to find your rhythm. And because it's lemon pepper seasoning, it needs that peppery flavor. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. I want the pepper, I don't want it ground. I want it to have a bite to it. Um, so I don't want it fine. So as you can see, it has some chunky bits in it still. And that's perfect. Because I want you to taste, I mean, it's lemon pepper, so I want to taste lemon pepper, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, uh, this will now go into the bowl. And now we're going to shred up our, this is what's going to give it its lemon and savory flavor. So, we're going to... Uh, take these away from the sticks and things and put them into the food processor. So we have everything ready to go. So let's shred okay, this up. Okay guys, so this is after I've uh, uh, crushed up the lemon balm, the thyme, the 
um, some sage. I added some salt in here with more pepper. And now all you have to do is just mix this together. It smells so good, guys. Mix it together. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells good. And if you want to add some more um, lemon balm, thyme, you can do that as well. But this is our lemon, this is a lemon pepper seasoning. It smells so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, okay. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I just store mine in little baggies or jars. And yay! So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!